Today, I'm at New York's JFK Airport, Terminal 8, to fly American Airlines' flagship business to London. Business class has its own check-in area separated from the rest of check-in. The baggage allowance for the flight was two bags weighing up to 32 kilos each. From check-in, it was a short walk to the TSA pre-security channel. After security, it was another short walk to the elevator taking you up to the Greenwich Lounge. This is a shared British Airways and American Airlines business class lounge. It was spacious with a number of different seating options. There was a buffet offering hot and cold breakfast items. Alongside hot drinks. And champagne. From the lounge, it was another short walk to the gate. A nice feature of Terminal 8 was how close together everything was, with short walks to get anywhere. As I arrived at the gate, an announcement was made moving the flight to a neighbouring gate where no plane was parked. There was also a 45 minute delay. So I headed back to the lounge. When I arrived back at the new gate, a plane was on stand. It was a Boeing 777-200ER aircraft, registration N770AN. It was 24 years old. Boarding was a little chaotic, with passengers standing around waiting to join a queue. Facial recognition was used to check passengers boarding the plane. Flagship business was located across the front two cabins of the aircraft. There were 37 seats in a 1 2 1 configuration. Seats in every other row faced backwards. I was in rear facing seat 5A. The seat had a width of 21 inches. There were no armrests, making it feel quite tight. The seat reclined to form a flat bed 77 inches long, although the foot of this was made up of a narrow ottoman. A bottle of water, amenity kit and headphones were next to the seat. Two power sockets and two USB ports were also located in easy reach. Although the power sockets were a bit temperamental, not supplying a power feed at times, and I couldn't get any power from the USBs. No drinks were offered pre-departure. The amenity kit comprised body lotion and lip balm. Dental kit, earplugs and a pen and socks and an eye mask.
Because of the change of aircraft, we pushed back about an hour behind schedule as the safety video played. Welcome to your American Airlines flight. On its way to one of our many destinations across the globe. Made possible by our dedicated team members. Who all do it for one reason. You! That's why your safety is so important to us. So let's go over some in-flight instructions so that we can get you safely on your way. We had a short taxi from the terminal to take off on runway 22 right. After takeoff, we looped around, giving a great aerial view of the airfield. The flight time to London was a speedy 6 hours 20 minutes, meaning much of the delay would be made up in flight. Beside the seat was a control panel to adjust the seat. Bang & Olufsen headphones were provided, although the left earpiece didn't work on my set. The entertainment system featured a fair range of movies and television shows. Shortly after takeoff, a hot towel was offered. Wi Fi was available for a fee. It cost $35 for the whole flight. When it worked, the speeds were good, but the reception was a bit patchy. The main meal service started soon. First drinks were offered. The range of spirits wasn't particularly premium, with drinks being served from miniature bottles. For the meal, there was a fixed starter, followed by a choice of four main courses and three desserts. The starter comprised of a green salad, an occasion grilled shrimp. The wine list included a Prosecco, two white wines, two red wines and a sherry. For main course I chose the braised short rib with potato gratin, sweet potatoes and asparagus. It was fine. I concluded the meal with an ice cream sundae. One of the nice things I do like about US carriers is they often have an ice cream dessert. There were three bathrooms around the cabin. Next to my seat was the aircraft's disabled bathroom, which was spacious. There wasn't any hand wash or hand cream available, just the standard soap dispensers you would find in economy. Back in the cabin, the seat reclined to form a flat bed. A pillow and soft blanket were provided. As a bed, it felt narrow and confined. Between the two cabins was a snack pantry. There were sandwiches, wraps, fruit bowls and other snacks. A 
about 90 minutes prior to arrival, a second light meal was served. I chose the toasted croque monsieur. It came with a side salad of beans. A tiramisu cake finished the meal. Again, the meal was nothing to write home about. As the sun set, we prepared to land at Heathrow. We flew in from the west to land on runway 09 left, before taxiing to Terminal 3. In the end, we landed just over 20 minutes behind schedule. Overall, I was a bit disappointed with this flight. It didn't feel as premium as other business class products. The seat was pretty boxed in with limited power and temperamental Wi-Fi. With no pre-departure drinks, no champagne on board, it felt that things were being scrimped at the edges. Considering this was a codeshare BA ticket, it didn't meet a similar standard to Club World. Let me know what you think of the review. Comment, like and share. And don't forget to subscribe for future reviews.